Gemini 3 Pro is finally out. This was a much awaited AI model by Google. And in this video, we're going to test this AI model on an existing project. So this is a Nexus project that I have inside VS Code. And this is the landing page of this project. What we'll do, we'll create some functionalities inside this existing project and see what Gemini 3 Pro is capable of. Because this AI model has 1 million context window and it costs $2 per million input tokens and $12 per million output tokens. Ideally, my expectation from this AI model will be to perform like Claude Sonnet 4.5 encoding and agenting task because Claude Sonnet 4.5 also has 1 million context window and cost wise it is just a bit more expensive than Gemini 3.0 Pro. So inside VS Code I have got this AI coding agent which is called Kilo Code. So we are going to test this AI model through Kilo Code. You can use Klein or Rue Code or any other AI coding agent in our case but I am just going to use Kilo Code. So in here inside Kilo Code make sure that you select Gemini 3 Pro from this model selection section and now make sure that Gemini 3 is selected. Once that is done then simply just click on hit this plus button and now let's just give it a prompt so first feature that i want to add into this project is adding authentication system using clerk so i have just mentioned in my prompt you are inside an access project i have created a new landing page at slash landing one now i want to add authentication system using clerk and here are the details and now let's just provide it with details from clerk so this is clerk.com i'm just going to sign up and once i have signed up i'll simply just create a new application inside clerk i'll just name it gemini 3 pro and now i can just like maybe choose the sign in providers from here i can choose sign in with email sign in with google or maybe sign in with apple as well and i can simply just click on this create application and now it has provided this documentation and here you can see there is this prompt as well so i'll simply just copy this prompt from here and now i can just provide that prompt in here i can now simply press enter and now let's just see how much time gemini 3 will take to integrate this authentication system this is the easiest task that i could give to gemini 3 pro so let's just start with an easy task and then we'll give it more complex task all right so as you can see it has already started working the first thing is kilo code read these files which is app slash layout.esx file and next is it has created this to-do list and the first step in this to-do list is to install that clerk dependency the second step is to install environment variables the third step is to create middleware.ts file with clerk middleware and then fourth step is to update app slash layout.tsx file with clerk provider and now it has already started writing code that is amazing and now it is updating these environment variables so so far it has not been more than i think 40 45 seconds and it has already started working on making changing inside code so let's just wait for it to finish this task quickly as soon as possible because this task is not that complex if you just go to that documentation in here the first thing that it had to do was just to install that dependency the second thing is to create an environment variable file dot env file and then add these environment variables the third step was to create a middleware.es file and then add this code inside middleware middleware.ts file and the fourth step is add clerk provider inside your layout.tsx file and that's it and after that you can just like run your project that's it so let's just see if it has already completed all of these tasks i think right now it is at this step which is update app slash layout.tsx file with clerk provider so that's the final step from that documentation so so far it has taken around two minutes i think i guess for last two minutes for last two minutes it is already working i'll actually create a separate video where i'll compare gemini 3 with clots 4.5 and do a side by side comparison video i'll create a separate video but for now let's just like test its performance on its own and right now i think it has completed all of the tasks and now we should be ready so i think it has already completed the task let's let me just go back to my website let me just refresh okay it needs the keys so let me just go to my dot env file and we dot local file and here i can just provide those keys from from clerk so i can just copy these environment variables from here i can just paste these environment variables as it is uh save and now let me just quickly refresh perfect so it is already refreshed and now it has created these two buttons sign in and sign up there was already a sign in button i think it has not added the clerk functionality into this sign in but it has separately created a sign in and sign up button i can simply just click on this and now it has just created this clerk sign in let me just click on that and 
the sign in should work just fine i can just choose my email and now click on continue and sign in is working as expected that's amazing so now let's just give it a little bit more complex task let me just try to integrate gemini 3 pro the same model that we're using to write code let's just try to integrate that same model inside our project and then create a chat interface and then try to like test this ai model through that chat interface that this ai model will create by itself now so right now i'm on open router.ai and i'll just click on create an api key i can just like create an api key and i'll just name this api key something gemini 3 pro click on create now i just copy this api key from here i'll go to this chat interface i'll just provide this api key in here and now i will just copy the documentation from this in fact the sample code from this quick start tab from here inside open router now i can just go to typescript section copy this code from here as it is because this is a sample code that it shows that how to integrate this open router ai model inside your project so i'll just provide this documentation our sample code so i'm just going to like provide it as a sample code and now i can just give it a prompt now please create a chat interface in our project and indicate gemini 3 pro as an ai model here is open router api key and here is sample code that's it so my prompt is complete now i have first of all guided it what to create secondly i have provided it open router api key and third step is i have provided the sample code now it should be able to create chat interface just like any other like ai chatbot and then it should be able to integrate gemini 3 pro inside that chat interface and then it should also be able to add an environment variable inside this dot env dot local file i think it has already done that here it is open route has already added that api key in here and now it is going to create a new api route here inside app slash api slash chat slash route dot yes for integration that's amazing and then last step will be to create interface to create ui for that chat box so let's just see how long it will take already i have not started stopwatch so let me just start a timer i'll just like start a three minutes timer so we'll see that how long it will take to finish this task so still it is stuck at that point to create that route for open router and then the next step will be it will have to create the chat box ui that interface for that chat box okay now it is at the last step which is chat ui page at app slash chat slash page dot tsx file that is amazing there are some okay there are no errors perfect so let's just see how long it will take to complete this task apparently it has already completed that task i think it completed that task in around one minute and 30 seconds that's amazing now let me just go back to my project here is my project and now let me just see where is my chat box okay where is my chat box there we go our chat box is created at slash chat on this page perfect now i can just say it hi press enter and now let's just see if it responds i mean there are ui issues but we can definitely fix those issues but so far it is thinking hi perfect okay hello how can i help you today perfect so this is the reasoning detail it has just provided that that means api call worked well and that means gemini 3 pro is integrated and open router api call is working as we expected that is amazing and overall by the way both of these tasks cost around 0 0.57 dollars that is okay not too expensive but yeah let's just create a new task now let's just give it a task to create a landing page let's just check how good it is to create front-end design and landing page please create a new landing page for a project at slash landing our company is an agents development company please create modern professional landing page with stock images i really want to use some stock images rather than like the default kind of that it adds now let me just press enter now let's just see what sort of landing page it will be able to create i really want to test its like capability to create like nice looking high quality front end designs so let's just see if it can actually do that or not let me just start my timer as well and to see how long it will take for that task okay so i think it should not take too much time in creating this landing page because it will be just one landing page there is nothing complex there is nothing like it, it doesn't have to integrate any sort of like api keys or anything everything should be just like super simple and easy just a simple landing page so it has already created this page.esx file now it is editing that page.esx file and creating 
content for this landing page and we can see it has already created a task for itself the first step is to create app slash landing slash page.esx file with modern design and stock images the first task is done the second task is to verify page content and structure so let's just see if it can verify okay perfect apparently it has just completed the second task as well and now let's just okay perfect the task is completed i think it took less than a minute perfect that's amazing okay now let me just go ahead and review that landing page let me just open landing to l a n d i n g to perfect it should be there perfect amazing and it has used this stock image for some reason i don't know why it has used this image because inside i think this public folder inside this assets folder i added this image for a different project but it used that image inside this project and it has created kind of okish image not bad it's uh it's good enough not bad it didn't create that ai slop design that i usually create with that purple sort of thing but overall it's a good design not too good but this is a simple basic good design now i want to give it another task that i usually give to most of these ai models to check like to test their capabilities and that is to create a 3d rubik's cube simulator so i've just opened a new chart in here and this is a detailed prompt that i just like provide to all of these ai models and just to mention most of ai models have failed this task to create a fully functional 3d rubik's cube simulator and by the way it will be a simple one file code which will be in html and js so again it is not going to be very complex code this is just going to be like one single file and this is a detailed prompt that i have just provided it and now let me just press enter and also let me just turn on our timer so let's just see how long it will take a lot of famous ai models have failed this task i think cloud sonnet 4 has failed this task uh kimi k2 has failed this task and also gpt5 has failed this task so right now to create this project we can see it has already created this detailed to-do list the first thing is to create a directory second thing is to create this html code the third thing is to implement cube generation logic the fourth step is to implement camera controls then implement layer rotation logic implement user interaction then implement solver okay perfect and then finally verify the functionality so let's just see how long it will take to complete this task and also once it will complete we'll see if it is a flawless 3d rubik's cube simulator i will not ask for any iterations i'll just like judge it on the first attempt so we'll see if it will be able to create to uh, like this complete 3d rubik's cube simulator in just first attempt so right now it has already started creating code for index.html file so that's just going to be like one file only and let's just wait for it to finish this and then we'll just test it once everything's done okay right now you can see it has already created the project and it has already been three minutes and now it is testing this project by running it i mean this is the kilo code functionality it is testing this project right here and making sure that it is working fine and i think the testing is complete and apparently it is working fine and overall this task so far cost around 0.35 dollars all right so it has apparently finished the task now i can just open it inside this directory here it is it has just created a separate directory other than creating it inside app directory so now let me just open that i can directly open this inside my browser let me just open that okay perfect nice i never got this kind of design before in any of those AI models the 3d design and then this kind of like i think it has added a light as well in this environment and i can see that light shining in here that's amazing i can now click on shuffle the shuffling is working fine and it's so smooth look at this animation it's so smooth and now i can simply just click on solve let me just check if it is going to solve it perfect that's that's mind-blowing that's amazing now let me just increase the size of cube to six maybe create a more detailed cube click on shuffle now let's just see if it can actually solve this cube so now it has shuffled already i can click on solve and perfect it has already solved this cube that's really impressive and i'm actually really impressed by the design these 3d cubes that it has created they look really nice and in fact this lighting reflection as well overall it looks really high quality right, so yeah this AI model can actually give a really tough competition to cloud sonnet 4.5 i'll create a separate video where i'll compare side by side both of these AI models but so far for all of the coding tasks that i gave it 
it just performed really well and it did not hallucinate at all in any of those tasks we created an authentication system using clerk integrated an ai model and created a chat interface the ui of that chat interface was not that good then we created that landing page the interface of that landing page was good it was not that bad design wise it was okay and then we just created this 3d rubik's cube simulator and it just like an amazing job in just first attempt of this 3d rubik's cube simulation generation so i'm really excited about this ai model i will definitely add this as my main ai model for coding i think my top priority still is cloud 4.5 and number two is gemini 3 so so yeah just go ahead and give it a try and let me know in the comments section what you think about this amazing AI model i'll see you next video bye bye